Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Kayla and here we love to talk about all things luxury and high-end makeup and beauty. So today I have picked up the new Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer in the lightest shade, 10 in. I'm gonna do a demo of this product using both a brush and a sponge. I'm gonna let you know my thoughts. So if that's something that you're interested in seeing, then just keep watching. Okay, so I have the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. I have it in the lightest shade 10 in. And oh my gosh, this packaging, it looks so tiny. You know, I was thinking yesterday, it's so interesting how different brands, it's like the same amount of product, but it's this little tiny thing. And then some brands have these like big glass bottles with all these fluffs and frills. And this is just, it is what it is. And I think that there's so much beauty and simplicity like this. So it is SPF 20 and it's described as a flexible tinted moisturizer that immediately blurs the skin with glowy light to medium coverage all while all while hydrating and protecting skin from the sun. It has a radiant finish. It says it's best for dry combo and normal skin. It's hydrating. Sounds like everything that I like. Now I'm a huge fan of Rare Beauty. I tried to pick up the bronzer in the shade Happy Soul and it was like I had it in my cart because it was in stock at my Sephora store. And then the next morning, the morning of the sale, I went to check out and it was gone. So I'm gonna try to get that bronzer. <laughs> I love the concealer. If you saw my Sephora sale recommendations video, the Rare Beauty concealer is definitely one of my recommendations. So let's go ahead and apply this. Like I said, it's this beautiful little bottle. It's a twist off cap, just with like a little squeezy tube it kind of reminds me of the mac face and body i shook it up really good so let's squeeze some on the back of my hand okay so it is pretty thick as you can see it's not running down my hand at all the shade it looks like it's going to be perfect for me i mean it maybe has the slightest sunscreen scent but I really don't think I smell anything, y'all. That could just be the sunscreen that I already have on from applying it to my face. I don't think I smell anything. So unscented from what I can tell. And like I said, it seems like it's pretty thick. I mean, it's running down my hand just a little, but like not that much at all. So as always, I'm gonna apply it to one half of my face with a brush and the other half with a sponge. All I have on right now is my skincare, so you know, typical eye cream, serum, moisturizer, and SPF. I covered up this blemish up here because I did not want y'all to have to look at that. <laughs> I left these uncovered because those are okay, but this one is just, it's terrifying. So I have a little bit of concealer over that one, but other than that, nothing else. So let's go ahead and do this side with a brush. As always, I have my Sonia G Jumbo Base Brush. that applied so quickly and blended so easily. It didn't provide too much coverage. As you can see, you can still see this blemish right here, but it definitely, as it says right now, is a light, light coverage. It's glowy without being like really dewy, which I actually really love. And let me know what you think. I'll zoom you in a little bit, but it almost looks like as it says, it's kind of like blurring my skin. And again, it's glowy without being dewy. So here's the side with it applied with a brush. And then here's the side without anything. Okay, so far so good. Let me see if I can build up the coverage a little bit with a brush. Um, okay, well that built up damn near perfectly. The shade matches perfect. 
it definitely is what it says. It's light coverage, but it almost provides, I don't know if you can see, I don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera, but it almost provides this like blurring effect to the skin. As you can see, adding that second layer definitely covered up this blemish a little bit more, but it still looks natural and glowy without being like sticky or do, I mean, it's a little sticky because it still hasn't set down yet, but it's not too, too dewy, but yet it's still glowy. First impressions are great, y'all. Let's go ahead and apply it to this side with a beauty blender. Okay, so there's the side with the Beauty Blender. It's not, probably not gonna pick up on camera, but I do feel like the Beauty Blender side accentuated my pores just a little, I mean, ever so slightly more, but it still is like the same amount of coverage. I don't really feel like having applied it with a Beauty Blender, it's like less coverage or anything like that. So I think this is one of those products and I am gonna try it applying it with my fingers, you know, just kind of slapping it on my face, just not today, because I wanted to, you know, like I always do, use a brush or a beauty blender, because one or the other of those is my preferred method. But let me zoom you in a little bit. So here is the beauty blender side. Had a little blemish down here, it provided a little bit of coverage. And then here is the brush side. Like I said, the shade match is like perfection. And again, it's set down to be glowy, but without being dewy. And I think that is just amazing. I know I've talked before, especially over on my Instagram about the Tower 28, the Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen. And I love that one, but I think I have mentioned before that it's almost too dewy, almost. It's not, but almost. And this one is like, that perfect set down for me. Like I don't even feel like with this product that you would need powder, which is insane to me for a tinted moisturizer. So let's go ahead and see if it builds up on my nose. It built up on my nose beautifully. I, first impressions of this y'all are really really strong it's had a little bit of time i do have a fan look i'm looking at the fan like y'all know i have a fan on <laughs> so it has kind of like let it set down a little bit and i really hope it's picking up on camera it's glowy without being overly dewy and that is just to me magical when i touch my face i mean it does pick up a little but not as much as other products that i've used and first impressions are great y'all so i'm gonna finish up my face i am gonna use the rare beauty concealer like i said i don't have that bronzer i hope to get it soon and i will be back let you know what other products i use as well as my final thoughts Okay y'all, so this is the finished look. Needless to say, I am blown away by this product. Like I said, I did use the Rare Beauty Concealer. All of the other products that I use will be linked in the description box down below. On my lips, I have their two matte lip creams. I have it, I just kind of mix them in the shade Motivate and Brave, but y'all, I am truly like blown away by this product. As you can see, it kept that glowiness without being dewy. I mean, it's pretty much like set down on my face and I only use a little bit of powder to set my concealer and like my blemishes. I didn't use powder anywhere else on my face and this product, even though it's a tinted moisturizer, set down but it's not dry or cakey. It's just glowy and hydrated. I mean, I basically feel like I have a flawless base from a tinted moisturizer. And typically like a tinted moisturizer is just like a super, super light coverage. Like you're not doing anything, not going anywhere, but this is beautiful. I, I mean, this is a first impression. I will wear it today. I'm gonna be outside. I'm gonna be doing like some gardening and stuff. So I'll definitely be putting it to the test, but 
first impression, like this is beautiful. Like I was excited about it, but not like, you know, I was like, okay, well, I'm sure it's gonna be great. But the foundation by Rare Beauty does not work for me. Like I got rid of it, I decluttered it. It's just too dry. It just sucked up all the moisture on my skin and just made me look like I was 10 years older. I hated it, it was awful. But this is amazing. Like, like I said, maybe it'll wear terribly. I don't know, but I don't think that that's gonna be the case. <laughs> I'll leave a pinned comment down below as to how it wears, but the shade match is perfect. The finish is perfect. I will one day try applying it. Maybe I'll do like a reel over on Instagram applying it with my fingers because I feel like that's gonna be like the quickest application and kind of see how it does that way. But both the brush side and the Beauty Blender side look amazing. I, first impressions are great, y'all. The sale's going on right now for Rouge members. It actually starts today when you're seeing this video for VIB members and you can get this for 15% off. And at retailing at full price for only 29 bucks, I think that this is an absolute steal, especially if you can get it on sale. I'm so pleased, I'm so happy. Let me know in the comment section down below how you think it looks. Does it look as good on camera as I think it does? And also let me know if you've picked up this product yet and if you love it as much as I pretty sure I do. And as always, if you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you like my content, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as part of our little fam here on YouTube. And if you're not following me over on Instagram, it's at Beauty by Kayla K. I'd love to see you over there too. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.